Now we are going to solve our problem number 2 on the calculation of z parameters and according to the problem we are required to find the z parameter matrix of the two port network as shown below. So this is the given network and we are required to find the z parameter matrix and the z parameter matrix is a 2 by 2 matrix having the elements z11, z12, z21 and z22. So we are required to calculate the four elements of the z parameter matrix. Now pause the video and try to solve the question on your own. Alright, now I will provide you the solution in which I will explain how we can calculate the Z parameters of this two port network. And we know in step number one, we assign the currents in all the branches of the given two port network. In this branch, current is I1. In this branch, current is 0.2 I2. I1 is entering this node 0.2 i2 is leaving the node therefore this current leaving the node will be equal to i1 minus 0.2 i2 so the current in this branch is equal to current i1 minus 0.2 i2 so now we have current i1 minus 0.2 i2 entering this node and I2 is entering the same node. Therefore, the leaving current at the same node will be equal to I1 minus 0.2 I2 plus I2. So finally, we have current in this branch equal to I1 plus 0.8 times I2. So in this way, we are done with step number one. And now we will move on to our step number two in which we will develop the input KVL equation and the output KVL equation. The input KVL equation will be plus V1 plus V1 then minus 0.3 V2 minus 0.3 V2 then we have minus 4 multiplied to i1 minus 0.2 i2 minus 4 multiplied to i1 minus 0.2 i2 we did not follow this path because we don't know the voltage across this current source therefore we are following the path like this now moving forward we will have minus 10 multiplied to i1 plus 0.8 i2 so we have minus 10 multiplied to i1 plus 0.8 i2 equal to 0 now when you simplify this you will have v1 minus 0.3 v2 then minus 14 i1 minus 7.2 i2 equal to 0. Let's call this equation number 1. Now we will find out the output KVL equation. We will apply KVL in this loop. We have plus v2 then we have minus 10 multiplied to i1 plus 0.8 i2 minus 10 multiplied to i1 plus 0.8 i2 equal to 0 from here we will have voltage v2 equal to 10 times i1 plus 8 times i2 let's say this is equation number 2 so this is the standard form of the equation but equation number one is not the standard form of the equation because here we have 0.3 v2 so to have the standard form we will replace v2 
by 10 i1 plus 8 i2 so we have v1 minus 0 0.3 multiplied to 10 i1 plus 8 i2 minus 14 i1 minus 7.2 i2 equal to 0 simplifying this you will have v1 equal to 17 i1 plus 9.6 i2 let's say this is equation number 3 now we will perform the comparison we know v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and we know v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 upon comparison we can see that z11 is equal to 17 z12 is equal to 9.6 so the impedance matrix will have the elements 17 and 9.6 in its first row now when you compare this standard equation with equation number 2 you will find z21 is equal to 10 and z22 is equal to 8 so the second row will have the elements 10 and 8 so this is our impedance matrix or you can say the z parameter matrix and this is our answer now we will move on to our homework problem and the homework problem is taken from ESE 2009 electrical paper read the problem and try to solve it and once you have your answer post it in comment section